Hey everybody. Buddy, my name is And welcome to the OP crop plant tier list. So about a month ago, a new update was released for DST that pretty much completely overhauled plants to make them better. Plants had a lot of new uses, including being a legitimate food source for characters who aren't limited to wor Warley and Wormwood. And there's plenty to talk about. So I thought, what better time to make a highly opinionated video about it? Keep in mind, this video will be ranking all 14 of the crop plants currently in DST, along with the four weeds. I won't be ranking the single player plants or non-crop inclusive plants such as berries, cave bananas, or lichen, as there are so many plants in that regard to the point to where it would merit its own video, which I may or may not make in the future. So starting off to set the precedence for all the other plants is the most common of all, the carrot. The carrot is essentially the Wilson equivalent of crops. Not great, not terrible. Carrots have some use outside of the crock pot, being a key factor in bunnyman pushes, but other than that, you should more or less just use them to make pierogi. They also respawn randomly throughout the world every 20 days, so there will always be some around and you don't really have to grind for them. And for the complete and utter averageness of carrots, awards them the rank of C tier. Next up we have a rather high ranking plant being Toma roots or tomatoes. So tomatoes represent two of the main aspects I look for in a crop. Those aspects are, is it good without a crock pot? It is, restoring 20 health when it's cooked. And can it be used in a crock pot? Unless it's a specific crop recipe, the best way to test if a vegetable is good is to just see if you can make pierogi with it, which it does so, so it's good in both regards. It also has two sanity based recipes, vegetable singer and salsa. However, they both have the exact same stats and salsa requires you to farm another specific crop to do so. So if you need sanity, just go for the veggie stinger. And because Tomaroot is a good symbiote for other plants and that it has fairly good healing, health, and hunger recipes for all around, I'm giving it a much deserved A tier. Next up, let's do a weed. Now, weeds for the most part are pretty bad, serving mainly as a hindrance to both crops and player, but there actually is some use you can get out of weeds regardless of whether or not you want them around. Weed eater. Fire nettles are like a hit or miss, but the ratio of miss to hit is around 90%. If you step on one, they hurt and overheat you. If you find yourself in winter and for some reason you don't have some form of heat with you, fire nettles can actually be used in this way to buffer through the cold. From what I've seen, there's nothing that can break their heat shield. The problem is they spike you for 8 health, and if you pick and eat them, they spike you for 20 health. For all of those reasons, I can't really find any practical use of a fire nettle, aside from very, very specific conditions. And for this, I give them the rank of E tier. Okay, corn. To be honest, corn is pretty much the same as carrots, except they give a decent amount of hunger without crock potting them. You can make fish tacos, which really aren't great. And you can also make powder cake, which is really only used for traps due to long spoil times. It's a trap! So, C tier. All right, I'm just gonna do the rest of C tier now. Garlic's main pros are that, yes, it can be used in veggie recipes like pierogi, and they never suffer any seasonal penalty. However, that's its only real use, as it's pretty bad to eat without crock potting, and it's one recipe costs far more healing items than it's worth. Low C tier. Okay, asparagus. <laughs> Asparagus is the best of C tier, but keep in mind that it is only just that, C tier. Can it make pierogi? Yes. Also like tomatoes, it can make vegetable stinger, which as stated earlier, ain't bad. However, it has one more use and that is asparagus soup, which isn't great, but it's an average dish to make if better foods aren't available. Pomegranates. Okay, so pomegranates are probably the lowest of C tier based on two reasons. One, they're a fruit, not a vegetable, and they don't have any specific recipes, meaning there's no reason to cook with them due to the abundance of berries and other easily attainable fruits. Secondly, they're only a spring and summer plant with a high fertilizer requirement, making them annoying to grow regardless of season. Eating it without a crock pot is pretty decent though, restoring a flat 20 health when cooked. They're good enough in this regard to let grow, but when it comes to selective planting, I would just say no, no. Finally, the last plant in C tier is actually a weed. Tailweed, to be specific, is the one weed I could see people intentionally trying to get. To start with, it's a weed, so apart from separating it from any future crop plants, it requires no form of maintenance. Second, it causes garden to try to spawn, which can be used to spawn various materials, including non-renewable nitre. 
Lastly, it can be picked repeatedly to give a 1 health prop, which is better used to make a healing item which restores up to 28 health. And it's because of all these reasons, and that Tillweed has virtually no requirements to continue growth and spreading, that I'm putting it high up on C tier. So next up we have Watermelon. This is weird. Am I supposed to eat this? <laughs> Okay, so Watermelon's only real saving grace is its sanity benefits. It's a fruit, so likely the best you can do in a crockpot health-wise would be fruit medley. It has a sanity recipe, Melon Sickle, which gives decent sanity. And lastly, Watermelons are really picky, requiring more water than any other plant. Freeze! I'm thirsty. And it's for the reasons of spending a lot of resources on a sanity food slash filler that I can't put Watermelon any higher than D tier. Dragon Fruit, the king of all farm plants. Kinda. So dragon fruit is an A tier crop, but it's not the best overall. So first off, you can eat it without a crock pot fine with a typical 20 health. Secondly, you can put it in a crock pot to achieve dragon pie, which is among the best foods in the game. The problem with dragon fruit is it's a spring summer crop and it requires a lot of care. And even then, it still grows slowly. Nevertheless, it's still a decent choice if you were to farm only one type of plant. Next up, we have pumpkins. <laughs> So if I were asked what would be the only food in the game that you could completely solve hunger problems with, I would say pumpkins. Whether you cook them or eat them raw, you're going to restore almost a third of your hunger per consumption. They're a vegetable, so you're getting pierogies out of it. They have their own sanity dish too, and finally they only require an average amount of care. And thus, they get the rank of B tier. Next up, pepper. And yeah, bad crop. Okay, wait, let me rephrase that. It's good if you're playing as or own a pet Warly, but other than that, it's really bad. Starting off, whether you eat it raw or cooked, it's harming you really badly. Secondly, it has two recipes. The first of which, stuffed pepper poppers, is actually a crockpot sabotage when it comes to better foods, as peppers count as a vegetable, but pepper poppers hold a higher priority. It could be me! It could even be the second recipe, which I didn't even bother making, is spicy dragon chili, requiring you to throw away a dragon fruit in order to have an even worse food. And technically, yes, you could use pepper poppers to make a push, but between the temperatures increase and the sanity loss, I'd advise against it. And for all of this, I'm putting it in D tier, just below watermelon. So, forget me lots are in a similar boat as Tillweed, being a weed that has the potential to do more help than harm. The main difference being forget me lots are the most common and in turn the most annoying kind of weed. And secondly, forget me lots benefits are more sanity based. Forget me lots have their own sanity recipe, which isn't too bad to make. And finally, they can be used as a filler in some recipes, including that of pierogi. And for that, I'm giving it the rank of D tier. Honestly, I consider eggplants to be B tier, but I could see someone putting them in A tier as well. So for one, the standard cooking and eating works well for both hunger and health. Secondly, eggplants can, yes, be used to make pierogi. The only real problem that comes with this is there's a chance when cooking with eggplant that you can make stuffed eggplant instead, which is pretty wasteful because of how weak it is. I'm thinking the eggplant parmesan. <laughs> And it's also only in season in autumn and spring, so stockpiling eggplant stacks may prove annoying. Other than that, the eggplant is pretty solid, and for that, it gets the top of B tier. Next up, we have onions. For starters, yes, you can make pierogi with them, so that's at least C tier. However, a lot of the onions recipes are Warly exclusive. The veggie burger, however, is not, being one of the most, if not the most, all-around foods in the entire game, restoring it upwards of 30 plus points to every stat. Jazzy's Games made a whole video about onions, and although most recipes are Warly only, the veggie burger is enough to push onions into B tier. Behold the world! This fight's in the bag. Durians are the one plant in the game that I would consider to be so bad to the point to where you could call them a weed. They're the only crop that's in season only once a year in spring. Secondly, they can straight up sabotage crockpot recipes if more than a single durian is added on most occasions. They are a fruit, so no pierogi. But not only that, if you corrupt a dish with durians, somehow it turns into monster lasagna. Like, I didn't even put any meat in this and it still made monster lasagna. It's not even possible! And yes, work does get a bonus for eating durians, but to be honest, you could get similar if not better results by just eating pumpkins, eggplants, or corn instead. So between the reasoning of durians being hardly ever in season, a high fertilizer craving crop, and a literal dirty bomb in a crock pot, I'm putting them in E tier, just behind forget me lots. Second to last, we have potatoes. And as you may have guessed, yes, potatoes are the best crop plant in the game. Not because they have ridiculous higher healing alone, or that they're readily available, but because potatoes hit literally every requirement on their own. 
They're in season three-fourths of the year, the one exception being summer, which is a pain in the ass to grow anything anyways. They require the least amount of fertilizer compared to any other plant, and finally, they are able to hit all three stats. Cooking them alone gives the standard 20 health, 25 hunger. They're a vegetable, so pierogies. And finally, they even have a really simple sanity recipe that requires only a single potato and a twig. And for all the benefits they provide while giving one of the lowest costs in the game, makes potatoes the S-tier crop. And finally, the last plant on the roster, Spiny Bimeweed is a pretty self-explanatory F-tier. Not due to the fact that it's a weed, or because it damages you, but due to the fact that there is no reason for it to exist other than to annoy you. If one of these exists and you get to pick or dig up a plant, and you're surrounded for 20 meters on all sides! So I repeatedly tried to find a way to use this, but even as Wormwood, I just can't come up with a single reason. And because there's literally no benefit, I see it as the one crop that belongs in F tier. But hey, maybe someone else can find a use for it. If you come up with a use of keeping around a spiny bindweed, let me know. Other than that, I hope you enjoyed this video. Did your tier list rank up with mine? And more importantly, what's your S tier crop? Let me know in the comments below, but yeah, that's about it. Peace, peace. It's gonna take a lot more than potatoes to bring this baby down. I have to stop time again! The world!